A lot of respect for Nizhny. You know, people think it's easy, things because, uh, you know, we are Seska, we're supposed to win. Yes, we are supposed to win, but uh, these guys fought. They're uh, very well coached, uh, young guys, they play very hard. Uh, and they gave us a series, so we, we had to play good basketball and uh, uh, we competed and I thought we got a, a good win, you know, it was not easy. This is responsibility of the player. We got to uh, keep creating shots, uh, make sure we get good looks and uh, we got to step up and make shots. Uh, so no excuses. Uh, we'll go back to the gym, we'll, we'll look at the video and we'll make sure to uh, be better tomorrow. Okay, let's go, let's go. I would like to congratulate my team for uh, qualifying to the semi-finals. Uh, but at the same time, I want to say a big uh, congratulations to Nizhny. All these years that I'm here, Nizhny is doing a very serious job uh, by uh, producing players, uh, playing in the highest level, playing in EuroLeague, playing in the BCL now in the final eight, and uh, being well organized and have uh, clear targets of what they want in, in this sport. So they always give us a, a tough time definitely in period so it was a it was a period that and especially in all three games uh, coming after 13 days of playing the playoffs in uh, in series with Fener it didn't help us at all we were completely out of the rhythm we're not knocking down shots uh, we have a bad uh, uh, percentages of the free throws and this is not us there are a lot of players that they have, all the players, all my players, they have a tremendous wish and a tremendous belief to help the club and the situation. And uh, they're, they're giving the best effort, but they're going sometimes through the, through the walls. And uh, we're going to try to break it. Uh, it took a lot of composure, a lot of belief and a lot of fights to uh, get through Nizhny. And only good this will happen. Because the sequence of events that happened, that all of a sudden, during the game, on the first substitution that Ife Lumberg was dizzy and he couldn't help the team, tell me if it's not a bad luck that, you know, like, for the player, first of all, let's wish that he has nothing serious, but still, losing a player just like that in a, you know, this sequence of events that, that are happening and still we don't having uh, Joel over here with us, it's, it's, it's a tough and it's a very challenging season, it's a very talent challenging season, but as I said to my players, you know, they need to make a little bit of meditation and, and talk and, and, and uh, enjoy also what they're doing. That's very important. Because uh, when you're going through the stress, you're going to do bad things. And uh, that's why probably one of the reasons is that. Definitely, they're playing good defense. As I said, I congratulate Nizhny. They want to foul us. They play always to the level of fouls. I already know, know, knew it that, that we're going to go shoot like uh, between 25 and 45 free throws. It depends on the day, you know, like they, because they're playing to the level of foul. And that's a strategy, and I respect that. So, once again, congratulations to both teams. We don't have that much of a time. It's also a kind of imbalanced situation. We had 13 days after Fener, and now we're going to play back to back games. Other teams that they're going to Final Four, they don't have games. You know, like this is.